Hi, in this video you will learn how to create overlapping circles in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The overlapping circles graphic you will learn to create today looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? It's a very simple graphic to create and I'm going to create the graphic using PowerPoint SmartArt. So let us jump right in and learn how to create this graphic from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to insert and pick up the smart art tool here. So click on smart art. The graphic that we are going to manipulate is under relationship and you need to scroll all the way down to find the graphic, which is, it is called as basic when diagram. So click on this and you have basic Venn diagram here. I'm going to go to convert and go to convert to shapes. So I don't retain the characteristics of this as a smart art. Now we have got them as a collection of auto shapes. I'm going to right click, go to group and say ungroup. And now what we have is three different circles, which are all overlapping in a certain way. Now, we are going to go to Format, Merge Shapes, and we are going to use an option called Fragment. Now, there are many fragments available here, which we are going to select and merge them uh, one after another. First, before that, let us select everything and right click, go to Format Object, go to Fill, and reduce the transparency so it is easier for us to see the various uh, fragments here. Then go to the first piece, which is this one. I'm going to select that and I'm going to select this particular piece here. Then go to format, merge shapes, and I'm going to click on union. So I have created a new piece, which is in this particular shape. Let us go to shape fill and fill it with a different color, say orange color. Beautiful. I'm going to do the same thing here as well. I'm going to select this piece, hold the shift button down as I select this piece here, and let us, uh, do the same thing, format, merge shapes and union. And let us give a different color, maybe this green color. Finally, select this shape and this shape together while holding the shift button. Then go to format, merge shapes and union and choose a different color, maybe this blue color. And if you want, you can always leave this here or you can delete it. It is completely up to you. Now, this is one way of creating overlapping circles. If you don't want this style, then you can always go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the oval tool under Basic Shapes and draw a circle somewhere in the middle. So you are able to communicate the idea that this is the core from which these various things emanate. So you can always change the color of this and remove the outline. You can then write your text here saying that this is the hub or this is the core. And then you write your text saying that these are the spokes. So there are different ways in which you can use this graphic in your training presentations. You can talk about how three different entities come together to create one particular result or three spokes to a hub. There are different ways you can use this graphic. Now I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our complete trainers bundle, where we extend this concept to talk about overlapping relationships combined with different elements. Let me show you what I mean. The first example is this one where we talk about four parts of a whole. On a click, I talk about the center piece here. As you can see, this is a puzzle piece. Then on the next click, I get one part of the puzzle uh, coming in and then the next part and then the next part. So this talks about four parts of a whole. You can see that there are four components here. Another example is this one where we show a Venn diagram, but with the additional uh, option of puzzle pieces here. Then you can write your text to explain the components in this particular graphic. The next example is about intersection of three ideas. Here you can see that there are three different types of shapes that come together to create this kind of a hub and spoke relationship. You can write your explanation about this particular relationship here. And finally, we have four intersecting circles shown like this, which talks about four interlinked factors. You have 
the various explanations around each of these interlinked circles. And by the way, all the templates that I've shown you in this video are all taken from our Complete Trainers Bundle. Complete Trainers Bundle is a collection of 4022 top quality PowerPoint templates that help you to create training presentations in a matter of minutes. All the templates in our Complete Trainers Bundle are designed using our proprietary Neuro Slide Design System. Neuro Slide Design System is a system that uses cutting edge neuroscience principles to create PowerPoint templates that grab the viewer's attention. Whether you want to visualize flows, components, concepts and metaphors, cause and effect, number slides and infographics, models and frameworks, timelines and roadmaps, any type of slide type you can imagine to make your training presentations remarkable, you will find them all readily available in our Complete Trainers Bundle. You can find more details about our Complete Trainers Bundle by clicking on the button here. I'll also leave a link to the product in the description area below this video. Before we close this video, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click here to sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It's a totally free course and if you're a trainer or a course creator, it is a course you can't afford to miss. I'll see you inside the course.